America! Are you serious? It is showtime, baby! Here we go! Hi, my name is Michael, and I will uh, today show you how to safely light and operate a camp stove. The first process is to open up the stove like so. Next, you fold out the wind protectors. The wind protectors keep the stove from going out when it's windy. Next, you open up the grate and pull out the fuel canister. The stove needs fuel to run. In this case, this one's empty. So now I'm going to go fill it. First step is to unscrew the lid on the fuel canister as to pour in the fuel. <coughs> Next, put the funnel in the fuel canister and then unscrew the bottle that contains the fuel. After you've done so, you start to pour in the fuel and you want to fill it about three quarters of the way as so it has room to vaporize. Okay, now that we have our, uh, our canister filled with uh, fuel, we can uh, put the cap back on and go back to the stove. and insert this uh, part of the fuel canister into the stove. Okay, after we've done that, we need to uh, pump the, the gas so it uh, will be vaporized so it can burn. To do so, you unscrew this the way that it says open and you want to pump it about 30 times okay you flip this switch up to light it when you're lighting the stove you want to use matches instead of a lighter because with the lighter your hand will be really close to the burner and when it uh, eventually it ignites it'll uh, you have a potential uh, of burning your hand so I use matches since your hand is a little farther away first you light the match and hold it next to the burner make sure making sure that the switch is up and turn the knob to the left and then you can turn it up some more and then after about a minute of it burning with the switch up, you can turn it down. And there's also a second burner that you can light if you need to cook uh, different things at the same time. And to light that, you use the same safety pre precautions as if you would uh, light the first one. You uh, first light the match and put it down to the burner. And turn. there's a knob on the side that you turn to the left. We're going to show how to cook something. In this case we're going to boil water and since we only need one uh, pot for boiling water we can turn off the second burner by turning the same knob that you turned to the left to the right and that'll shut it off. Okay, after we've poured our water into our pot we're going to set the pot over the main burner and wait until it uh, starts to boil. Uh, now that we're done cooking we can pack up the stove but uh, First you're going to want to let the, the grill here cool to the touch so you don't burn yourselves. Uh, since, I'm, since it's uh, winter out now, it'll be, uh, it won't take as long for it to cool, but in the summer it'll take a while. And uh, you open up the grill and pull out the fuel canister and put it back inside the grill. Next we uh, pull out the wind protectors and fold them up, then close the drill, grill and 
then latch it up and you're good to go. You're ready to join Troop 570 on our regular campouts. We look forward to seeing you cook. Thank you to Mr. Ensley for providing the equipment needed for today. And thank you to Michael Schnack for coming out and acting. Uh, thank you to Phil for being a cool scoutmaster. And thank you to Mrs. Christensen for providing the transportation. Like half a page at a time. I mean, how to do this stuff? Just hi, my name's Michael. I'm gonna show you how to safely light a stove and operate one. And the stove should always be on a flat surface. Then close the drill, grill, and then latch it up, and you're good to go. Oh, I screwed up already. You've successfully learned how to uh, operate a stove. You are uh, now ready to join Troop 570 on our uh, uh, lots of campouts that we do. <laughs> I screwed up. You've successfully learned how to uh, safely use a camp stove. You're ready to join Troop 570 on our regular campouts. We look forward to seeing you cook. Come on, come on. Check it out, y'all. Take your chance. Check it out.